Hi and welcome, my name is Harpreet, I'm your host for the video today. This is part two, Mindset, and it's part of a 10 part video series based on the basics of speaking. This is an online speaking course that I've published and it is designed to help you become an amazing, compelling, passionate, confident speaker. Click on the link in the description below to find out more about the course. And if you're interested, please go ahead and download. So the episode today is about mindset. Let's get into it. So today I want to talk about mindset and why is mindset so important? Mindset, I believe, is critical in determining your success when you stand up and you give a speech. Why? Mindset is the state of mind that you hold, the belief system, the visualization, the objective, the mission, top of mind. That's what you should be cultivating and holding with awareness in your mind when you're writing your speech, when you're practicing your speech, when you're delivering your speech, when you're dealing with difficult questions from your audience. If you hold a great and powerful mindset, then it will guide you through and you will have an amazing experience with your speech. So, in order to develop and hold and maintain a great mindset from the point that you know that you've got to give a speech to the point that you deliver the speech and you get that wild, amazing applause back from the audience, you need to hold a positive mindset. And that's going to require focus, effort and discipline. So really, there's two parallel tracks of work that you have to do when you pick up a speech. One is you've got to write the speech, you've got to think about the ideas, you've got to create your written draft, and then you've got to practice that draft. You may build some slides if you want to bring some extra drama and suspense into your performance. All of that is the physical work to do with your speech. But there is also another part of it, the mental work. So the mental work is around what kind of attitude do I hold in my brain? What emotions do I have an experience about this speech? And if the emotions are negative and not positive, how can I turn it around? So I'm holding some positive emotions in my mind that actually amp up my motivation and inspiration to do this speech. So just like you're going to put in the hours over the next four weeks maybe until you've got to deliver your speech, you've also got to put in the hours to develop and cultivate a great mindset. Those phenomenal speakers around the world have amazing mindsets. And even when things go wrong in the practice and the preparation or the delivery of the speech, because they've got an amazing mindset, they still connect and build relationships with the audience during that 10 minutes of their speech and they deliver value and they change and transform lives for people all over the world. And you too can have that same power if you work on developing an amazing mindset. A lot of the time when I talk about speaking, I don't just talk about the practicalities of writing a speech, developing a speech, practicing a speech, you know, working on your pitch, your tone, the loudness of your voice. I also talk quite a lot about the philosophy of speaking. And this is where the mindset element comes in. Whenever you're going to do anything with your speech, whether you're going to outline it, whether you're going to write the first draft, edit the final draft, whether you're going to do your first practice run, whether you're going to take a walk around the venue where you're going to be delivering your speech, or whether you're sitting down at the end of your speaking performance and reviewing the feedback and the experience that you've just gone through for an amazing 10 minutes of stage. All of this, whilst you're doing all of this, you have to hold the mindset. Why? The thoughts that we have in our mind influence the actions that we take in the physical world. And the actions that we take dictate the results that we achieve. So if you want to deliver an amazing speech, or even if you just want to be confident whilst you deliver your speech, or it's your first speech project, and you want to deliver a good speech, you don't want to stutter, you don't want to make mistakes, you want to deliver it in a state of goodness, calmness and confidence, and you want other people to give you feedback to say that was a really good performance, then mindset is critical. And you have to have purpose. So go back to the first part in this series where we talk about purpose, that single sentence. So if you've got that single sentence in front of you and you've written it down, then the mindset is all about how do I feel about this speech? What positive emotions do I want whilst I practice and prepare for this speech? And what's the outcome that I want? 
So it really is like running a mental movie in your mind with music, with noise, with sound, where you mentally see the outcome that you want. And you've got to run these visualization exercises on a daily basis in the morning and in the evening. Find a quiet space, sit down, close your eyes, put down whatever music amps you up and run the movie in your mind of you standing up, delivering an amazing speech, dealing with all of the tough questions and getting an amazing thunderous round of applause at the end of it. Mindset is really important. And from the point that you sit down and you create your speech to the point that you practice, to the point that you build your slides, to the point that you're on the stage, holding a positive mindset will dictate success in giving your speech. And the reason why that is, is if you're operating from a state of fear and you're afraid about practicing, you're afraid about what's gonna happen on the day, you're afraid that the topic is difficult, you're afraid that you're gonna get some challenging questions. If you hold a mindset of fear, then your performance on the day will not be great and you will fail. So mindset really is about having a positive attitude. It's about sitting down and working and crafting your speech when you feel great, when you feel good, when you've got the energy. Putting on that music that helps you feel amazing and that you're going to crack this, you know, draft number seven of the speech. And holding that mindset whenever you do anything with your speech will be super critical to your success as a speaker. So the work that you have to do around a positive mindset links into your emotions. How do you feel about your speech? How do you feel about the challenge that's coming up maybe in the next two weeks when you've got to stand in front of 200 people in your department or in your business community or in your local community and you've got to deliver this speech? You may be experiencing some apprehensive emotions, nervousness, fear, anxiety, uh, worry, concern, and what you have to do through a process of visualization, through a process of writing down the outcomes that you want, running the mental movie in your mind, listening to inspiring and motivational music or whatever sort of music amps you up, you want to change those emotions to ones of happiness, confident, power, feeling amazing, experiencing success. And you want to read your purpose statement so that when you sit down for 30 minutes every day or an hour every day when you're prepping your speech, you want to tap into that emotional core that you've got, but you want to feel good, you want to feel great. And that starts by standing or sitting for a couple of minutes, closing your eyes and just visualizing you standing with confidence you holding that microphone with confidence and delivering that speech to the audience, you getting that thunderous, powerful, deafening applause at the end of giving your speech, and people standing up and cheering you. You know, that's the kind of experience you want to have when you deliver your speech. And then the smaller, intimate conversations you have with members of your audience after you've delivered your speech. So it really is about taking time to positively hold the emotion, the thought, and the outcome that you want for your speech. And you've got to do it like if it's a Hollywood movie that you're watching in your mind. You're the star. You're the one that's going to get paid a million dollars in that amazing movie. And you're the one that's going to have success. And you're the one that all the people will be cheering. Make the mindset part of your daily routine when you write your speech, when you practice your speech, and when you actually go and stand on the stage, acknowledge the mindset. I am standing here to deliver value to these people and I am going to deliver an amazing speech. I am sitting down to practice my speech and in two weeks, I am going to deliver an amazing speech. By actually making these statements, saying them out aloud or rehearsing them silently if you're standing in a queue or if you're stuck in traffic, or if you're waiting in line behind somebody, creates positive intent on your subconscious and conscious mind. You are imprinting the outcome that you want on the universe around you, and you're acting with intent. When you sit down and you've written that final draft, you're running the movie in your mind about getting up, standing, and delivering an amazing speech. You're actually changing people's lives by the experience that you deliver to them. You will never ever know the impact that you have on a member of your audience 
and what beneficial change you will deliver through the energy and power that you share. But that can only happen if you hold on to a strong, powerful, positive mindset about your speech, the way you think, the way you feel, the emotions that you hold in your brain whilst you're preparing and designing your experience for the audience. Now, one thing I sometimes advise to my clients who are giving speeches is go and visit the venue. Go and visit the hall, the conference center, the stage, the local community auditorium, wherever you're giving your speech, go and visit it. Put your music on, whatever music you love and you like that really makes you feel amazing and walk that space. Get up onto the stage, walk around the stage, stand at the podium, imagine the slides behind you, walk to different parts of the room, imagine looking at yourself giving the presentation at the front of the hall, spend a good 10, 15, 20 minutes walking around the environment, feeling present on the stage, pumping your music. And I would also suggest that you film the venue space on your phone so that when you're back home and you're practicing, you can look at the movie of the venue and superimpose it on the movie that you're running in your mind. This kind of tactic and this kind of strategy will reduce the fear and the nervousness that you are experiencing. Because you've actually gone and visited the space, your brain and your mind is already familiar with it. It's a familiar environment. So you won't feel nervousness and stress when you turn up to the venue for the very first time and you've got to deliver your speech. So you've written your speech draft, you've got to the final speech, it's all ready, you've practiced it, you're getting to the point where you're memorizing parts of your speech and you feel confident about delivering it. It's at this stage you want to be like an Olympic athlete training for gold. You want to put in your headphones and every morning and every evening you want to run that movie in your mind of you giving that speech. And actually, if you do this before you do your speech practice run and after you do your speech practice run, you will reinforce those positive feelings and you will cultivate that positive mindset. And if you've got that movie of having visited to the venue, run that in parallel as well. You really have to do this mental work alongside the physical work to be an amazing and exceptional speaker. A lot of people just practice the speech. They write the speech, they practice it, you know, they get the slides up with the clicker and that's all they do. They don't actually put in any effort and time around the mental preparation, the mindset, the feelings, the running the mental movie in the mind, because that is what dictates success for you as a speaker. And actually, if you're starting on your speaking journey and you're not feeling confident and you've got some stress, this will really help deal with all of that. Or it may be that you've, you're quite an experienced speaker and you've given lots and lots of presentations, but you still get a bit stressed and you still get a bit worried. Try this approach. See the difference that it makes to your speaking experience. Because I genuinely want for you, as the viewer of this video, to get to a space where you're happy, you're relaxed and you're confident and you're sharing your message with authentic joy to the audience in front of you. Okay, so we're ready to wrap up. So let's do a recap. Mindset and cultivating a strong and positive mindset is critical to your success as a speaker. You have to put in the work. So you've got two parts to getting ready for your speech. The physical work, writing and practicing and rehearsing the speech, and the mental work, building and cultivating that positive mindset and working on any negative emotions and transitioning them to positive. Building a routine to run the movie in your mind, the visualization on a daily basis. Sitting down to practice and design your speaking experience for your audience when you feel great, when you've got the right energy. Listening to music that makes you feel good. Visiting the venue and creating that movie on your phone and incorporating that into your daily practicing of the speeches. Hold a great mindset, hold the right thoughts, they will translate into the great actions that you need to give you the phenomenal results that you want as a speaker so that the audience feel impacted and their psyche is rocked and they take action on what you said and that will dictate the success that you achieve in your life. If you've enjoyed this video, 
please click on the link in the description below to find out more about the Basics of Speaking online course that I've designed and developed. This 10 part video series, and this is part two, is based on that course. In that course, we have a lesson all about mindset and we go in deep with lots of frameworks, ideas, reflection worksheets, and really it is a much more comprehensive tutorial than what I've just been sharing with you through this video for the last few minutes. So click on the link, find out more about the course, and if it's right for you, download the course and let's start this journey together. If you have enjoyed this video and you believe that I've added value to the last six or seven minutes that you've been watching this video, please do give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel and look forward to the next part in this video series. Thank you.